I don't know if you've ever dealt with old houses. But one of the problems with old houses is it's a giant puzzle, which is both frustrating and annoying and fun. I don't know what set. I don't know what point I am right now as I take a couple more minutes to stare at this. What's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've been uh, back at it, demoing a little bit. Um, as you can see, I did take out uh, the stairs. I'll show you guys that. I did take out the stairs. Uh, so this is the st where the stairs were. Um, uh, as like most everything else in this house uh, is that I shouldn't be surprised of, uh, they were held on by roughly five or six uh, screws. Uh, so it really didn't take all too much to, to pull out. Um, in fact, I think I actually just unscrewed a couple of them and the other just pulled right out of the drywall. It was, it was great. Um, really made me confident uh, yet again with how, how well this place is built. Anyways, uh, so those are pulled out uh, sitting over there. They're a bit of a, a mammoth to, to lug out and, and to get down, but, but we got it. Um, so I got to take out uh, the rest of this floor as you might as you noticed uh or might remember um but i put up kind of a, a temporary wall to support uh, these guys which really isn't a big span from uh, my beam in the off center of the building um but i wanted to catch these the ends of these joists uh for now uh just because again i'd rather be a little safe and sorry uh so next i gotta actually kick some, kick some stuff out of the way uh, and next is to to pull out that post, uh, and to to see if to see if this post, see if I can pull it out, and then uh, then kind of go from there. Uh, so yeah. There's not a whole lot of weight on these. I don't think. I think this is worth it because I'm honest. One of the thoughts I was to change the stairwell from here to in the corner to turning down. And if I do that, my thought was what I'm currently doing was to take this, and there's there's two of them, but they're both cut down at that end, support wise. So if I take this out, I fear that at least there in the middle, where kind of all the way it is, it'll start drooping, and and so I was trying to think of a way to help. To help prevent that. To help stop that. Um, other thought. Other thought was I could drive a new joist over. As long as there's not too much weight, I'm not too worried about it. Like do a joist from this wall all the way over 
to the beam, kind of in the middle. Maybe that's, but even then I'd have to take these off. Or if I had some hangers, I could put a hanger, maybe. Screw a hanger on, go under this, and do a temporary something or other over here with another hanger or a, I mean, this stud wall's all jacked up anyways. I'm looking at it, so maybe. Like, but even before, <laughs> In order to do that, I have to cut one of these out. So if I cut this one, leave it here, cut out that this joist right next to it, take these off, put a joist all the way across. That'll work. That'll be enough to support it temporarily, I think. Then I can take this out, the wall out, the floor out. And problem, my next problem is this beam is shot. Well, no, it's not shot. It's it's drooping in the middle by about an inch. <clears throat> I don't know if you've ever dealt with old houses, but one of the problems with old houses is it's a giant puzzle, which is both frustrating and annoying and fun. I don't, know what set, I don't know what point I am right now as I take a couple more minutes to stare at this. I can't see from there but to me again I'm not a professional uh, framer I'm not a professional builder of any sorts but if you're gonna if so this face whatever you want to call it joist I don't know if it's technically a joist but it's a beam I don't know if it's technically a beam uh, it sets on the face of the joists that run this way right it's drilled in um, there's two of them which I don't know if that's good or, like, it's better than one, I suppose. I don't know if you normally do one or two. I do at least one, of course. Uh, but normally, if you're going to have something like this, uh, where it's going to bear a bunch of weight, um, you'd put something underneath it over here by the stud, some kind of maybe stud pack or something where that it can actually sit on and go straight to the foundation. The weight can go straight to the foundation. Right here, there's nothing underneath either of these, and so they're really just screwed in really just adding weight as far as I can tell. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11, 12, 12 screws. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Five nails and one, one large stripped lag. Okay guys, um, I think I'm mostly finished up here for the evening, other than just cleaning up some things. Uh, so I took the stairs out, which I already talked to you about. Uh, what I ended up doing, it was just putting a, a single uh, joist in to support most of this. Um, there's not a whole lot of weight there. I did have another one, new one that I put in there on that side as well. Um, so maybe I'll add another one if I think I need to, but I don't really think I do. Um, I don't think I feel much of me tearing down the uh, the temporary wall, but I took that temporary wall out. Um, <clears throat> and so next I just got to take care of uh, the rest of the subfloor uh, to get that out of here. Uh, all the wood I end up just piling, stacking over yonder uh, against the wall. Um, so I think that's... Uh, that's about it. It doesn't feel like a heck of a lot, um, but again, all these things take a, a couple hours uh, for some reason. Uh, <clears throat> all these things take a couple hours for some reason. 
Uh, more weird stuff, uh, just to point out, as you'll see behind me, uh, this uh, stud uh, begins down low uh, all the way to the right, uh, has one added on uh, to the left of it, and yet another uh, to the left of it uh, again, um, and then another one back over to the right. Uh, so I'm not really sure uh, how that works. Um, yeah, I did add uh, a stud underneath uh, the joist uh, that I put down uh, just to just for just to make sure it works. Uh, again, these two uh, were cut. This one and this one uh, were cut like that when I opened up the wall. Didn't make much sense to me. Um, I did take out a little bit more of the blocking and stuff that was in in this this floor, the floor system here. Um, I'll show you another weird thing. Um, posts. Uh, we need a post there. That's fine. Um, underneath the post, um, it doesn't quite line up, uh, but we got about probably 80% 80 80% of the post uh, over top of something. So that's not too bad, I guess. Um, looking over here, uh, for some reason, we, we felt the need at some point to add uh, a little bit more to the edge of this post. So we threw in uh, one screw here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, another screw here, which is um, uh, rusted out. That's the word I'm looking for. And then we put a, a per brace a post underneath it that actually isn't even attached and is rotting away and just on the pure dirt. Again, I don't know how much you guys can see. Uh, so that's a great idea. Um, what I'm trying to finagle in my mind now is after I take this floor out, uh, what I'm going to do next, uh, how I'm going to uh, support this post specifically uh, as it goes all the way up to the beam uh, or the seam in the beam is. Uh, so I'm going to stare at that for a while, uh, figure out, because I got to keep that there or keep something there uh, as I pour the floor around it. Um, I would love to get a big LVL beam uh, to go right down the whole mill and not have to have a post. Uh, but those are, I don't think uh, I'm going to be able to put the price for that right now. Um, so I'll probably keep something like this, except uh, I think I'm going to get a metal post jack. One of the ones that's slightly adjustable. That's mostly adjustable. Um, and use that. Um, but I have to support both sides of the beam to pull this out, to pour a pad, uh, to put that on. take the temporary supports of the beam out so I could pour the concrete around it. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, how exactly, I'm not sure, uh, but that's what I'm thinking. Anyway, uh, so thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching, uh, being a part of this. Uh, again, I know it's kind of slow moving, uh, but I really appreciate, appreciate you guys uh, watching. Uh, hit the like button if you like it. Subscribe if you want to. Thanks. Have a good one.